Hey cake lovers, look, I found some Marks and Spencer cake jars, two out of the three. I've got Chunyle's cake jar and I've got the Raspberry Ripple cake jar. So join me today as I finally, finally get to taste these cake jars. Before I start this week's video, I need to give a big, big shout out to my friend May, who has been hunting down these cake jars for me. I asked her for a favour, you know, if you go near Marks and Spencer, can you check for me? And she's been going around most of London checking for cake jars. And a few days ago, she managed to find two out of the three. Um, the one that we haven't managed to find yet is the Colin the Caterpillar one, which, you know, I think is the most popular jar. But saying that, um, you may or may not have heard that Marks and Spencer are suing Audi for image and copyright infringement. Audi brought out their own version of a caterpillar cake called Cuthbert, which looks remarkably like Colin. Even I have to say, it looks like a carbon copy. So Marks and Spencer are suing them for um, image images infringement or copyright infringement so it's going to be interesting to see what the result of that is like i have looked at other supermarkets most supermarkets here in the uk have their own version of a caterpillar cake and the others is com a completely different color but i noticed sainsbury's one is very similar to marks and spencer's one so i don't know that might be part of audi's defense so yeah also, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Denise, I'm a cake baker and decorator and on this channel I talk about all things cake, so if that's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing. So let's get into the tasting. So the first cake jar I'm taste testing is the Raspberry Ripple Cake Jar. Um, each cake jar, well this one is 153 grams. They each cost £4.25. So you could possibly say it is quite expensive for how much is in the actual jar. Um, I did have um, I did do a video last week about how to make cake jars. I will link it up here. They're very straightforward. So first impressions. Cake looks a bit dry. It smells really nice. You can smell, you can really smell the raspberry. So let's taste. Mmm. I can really taste the raspberry. I think as well as raspberry jam, there's like um freeze-dried raspberries in here. The icing. I don't think it's too sweet. Um the cake. I'm not completely over the cake. Cake is okay. Could maybe be a little bit moist, but yeah, I do like the taste of that. I mean, I do like raspberry. I prefer raspberry jam over strawberry jam anyway. So that's not too bad. Um, so what would I give it out of 10? Mm, I think £4 for this. I don't know. It looks very nice in the jar, the way it's layered. Uh, you get the raspberry taste. The cake is okay. I, I, I do think it's a little bit on the dry side and the icing's fine for me. So I'd probably give it a 7, 7 out of 10 for this. 7 out of 10. So the next cake jar is the Trillionaire's cake jar. So in there it says Madeira sponge cake, layered with salted caramel sauce, chocolate ganache, fudge cubes, and milk chocolate biscuit balls. So let's try this one. Ganache. Oh wow. Mmm. That's nice, I think. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a massive fan of buttercreams or anything like that. My kind of favourite kind of cake is um, just plain cake. <laughs> but 
for me, I probably I do prefer sort of ganache over buttercream. So that's a that's a nice ganache. Very cockety. I get some of the sponge. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna try and get some of the caramel sauce. Get to it. Uh, uh, mm, mm. That is actually really nice. I think I'm a bit of a chocolate fiend, so I think I would prefer this jar over the raspberry ripple one because I do like chocolate, and this this has everything going for it. So this one would have, would get I would give it an eight, possibly a nine out of ten. So yeah, have a bit more. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. So, don't worry about me. I'm just going to a chocolate thing. Okay, let me stop. So, my conclusions. Are they worth the hype? They came out really well. They taste really nice. Um, my favourite one is the chocolate one, but I'm a bit of a chocolate fan. So, yeah, I think, yeah, Marks and Spencer, you do, you do do all right. I can probably see why they're sold out everywhere you can't find them anywhere but again you can make your own and it will in terms of cost it will be more cost effective to make your own but i get it you know we're not all cake makers and bakers so if you see something like this a new type of cake product though like i said in my video last week they're not new cake just have been around for years but it's a new novelty thing. People are like, oh, what's this? What's this? Especially with the Colin the Caterpillar one, which we still cannot find. If anyone finds a Colin the Caterpillar one, let me know. Because that's the one that I really want to try out of all three of them. I wouldn't want to try all three of them, but Colin is the one. So that's it for my taste review. So before I go, okay, business tip. So. Early, earlier on in the video, I spoke about Marks and Spencer suing Audi for copyright infringement because Audi have brought out their own version of a caterpillar cake, which is almost a carbon copy of Marks and Spencer's one. When it comes to baking, you need to be very careful in terms of using licensed images, especially if you're going to sell them. I think, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but I think that if you're doing it as a cake, for a friend or family that you're not going to sell. I think that's okay. But if you're going to be selling cakes with licensed, licensed images, you have to be careful. I'll give an example, Disney. A lot of um, people want cakes with um, Disney imagery on it, but they're licensed images. So if Disney saw a cake, for example, let's say Ariel from The Little Mermaid, and you sold that as a cake to a customer, you could potentially be sued. Now, I know people will be like, oh, you know, Disney is a huge company. They haven't got time to be looking around to see if people are selling cakes with their imagery on it. I have heard of cake bakers who have been contacted by Disney saying copyright infringement. So you have to be very careful. You can buy toppers, though, from cake shops that are actually um, toppers that have been licensed by Disney. So, for example, if you just want a cake topper, it might be a resin cake topper. And I think on it, it will say licensed imagery. So Disney have basically approved it. But make sure it does say that um, because it, it can happen. So just be very careful when, you when you're when you using li license, potentially licensed imagery, things like from Disney, for example, because it could harm your business. So thank you for watching this video on my review of the ever elusive Marks and Spencer's cake jars. Um, I'm going to have some videos here for you to watch and I hope to see you next time. Until next time, Kate lovers.